All right, so today's video, we're watching a Silver 2 support on PC, and they're going to be playing Juno and a little bit of Life Weaver. So this is our first Juno review. They say, hello, since Juno and the new season came out, I wanted to try her out in comp, and I was having a lot of fun with her. In this particular game, though, one of our DPS, the Junkrat Soldier Farah, kept asking for one of our supports, mostly me, to swap to Mercy or any hero that did more healing because I wasn't healing enough, apparently, and they wanted damage boosting. Overall, though, during the game, I felt that I was doing fine and it was mostly the DPS's fault for going in and ulting alone at critical health so I couldn't heal them. But I do want to know if I can improve on my own gameplay as well in any way. The game itself was fun though and I feel like we did well by the end of it. Thank you if you end up watching this VOD. Was it the DPS's fault? Could you have went something else to help? Are you using your abilities correctly? Well, we're about to find that out, chat. Yeah, I'm going to be real with you. I think that was just a good play by their by their Echo. What you should do in that situation is just fly into your team and hope they help rather than just try to take the 1v1. Because one thing about Juno that some players have found frustrating is that you can't headshot. So because you can't headshot, you, you're not going to get rewarded for like any critical damage at that point. So in that situation, you're probably better off just going to your team and then like hoping that like the speed boost alone can kind of put you in a better spot. Best DPS to play in silver this season? Anything you're good at. I'm, I'm serious. Don't look too hard at meta, especially when you're in silver. I would worry more about what you're best at. I was getting concerned you weren't going to heal your Ryan, so I'm glad you gave up on killing, trying to kill the Pharah. Wait, is that the Junkrat that was complaining to you? They just went into a small hallway by themselves and they want a damage boost. That's tough. I, I, I do have to say, you're letting yourself kind of get isolated in 1v1s. At a certain point, you need to use your mobility and go into your team or around your team rather than just like getting isolated. And that's why you're dying pretty early on here. I don't mind you doing some early stuff here. Grace just got rolled. Good hyper ring. It, you know what? It, it's... Big slam alert. Holy crap. Remember, they're behind you, though. I don't mind this play. Oh, no. Happiest four months of my life, X. First of all, you knew that was going to happen. You need to just go in and, like, just just beat them to the punch. You knew that was going to happen, too. Remember, you can always look up top in the payload. Thing. I, I can see that coming. I was like, oh, no, is the Echo just going to... Uh. That's, that's like a team effort thing, though. Like, your teammates right here need to help you back here. So, like, it's a, it's a unique situation, but, like, I you knew that was coming. All right. Well, now what I want you to do is I want you to use your ultimate to engage a fight. And not... <laughs> Big slam! Yep, keep your teammates alive. Let them do that. Uh, who's holding? Thank you, Bison. Thank you, appreciate it. Thank you. I know, I saw. You went for the ultimate and got rolled. But I hear, you know what? I'm going to give you a tip on the ultimate. Because I see a lot of Junos doing this. If you know that Ryan's going to have ult, and that's why ult tracking is important, you, your ultimate goes through walls. You know how, like, if you're playing Kiriko and you, like, pop your, like, fox into, like, this wall, it will get stuck? Your ultimate, you could pop right here, and it will travel through walls. So you don't need to be directly, like, in front of people to get where you want it to go. You could go, like, right here, throw your ultimate, and it will go like this. It will go through the walls. It doesn't get stuck. Use the walls and use the map geometry to, like, get a better ult location as a starter part. Nick Wizard, thanks for the nine months. That finished mine, Thank you. Shit. Yeah, I mean, if your soldier's gonna ult like that, they're gonna get rolled anyway. That's just bad positioning by your soldier. And they still end up getting kills, but... 
Like, if they think that being damage boost right there is going to make a difference, I it will not make a difference. They will get rolled the same way because, like, they're just in front of their whole team. So that they, it, From what I'm gathering so far is the, the, you, the, 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 the people that complain that they want a damage boost, like, don't get me wrong. As a, as a DPS player, you're going to love having a damage boost. But if they're going to play like that, they're going to fall over no matter what. They're, they're definitely out of position. What does the ultimate do? Uh, it increases... I think damage by 35% and also heals you for a certain amount. I don't know the exact numbers. Good heals. Yep. Also remember when you use speed ring, it activates, it activates on you automatically. So you benefit from the speed ring wherever you throw it anyway. So don't be afraid to throw your speed ring towards your teammates to also benefit you and your team. What was the true or false question? I just missed what it was. I'm sorry. What rank? This is silver. Oh, big slam alert! Yeah, it go towards yeah. But you know what though? Your reaction there was the correct play. Go towards your team rather than try to take the duel. They got you, but it makes them like have to turn and like gives your teammates a little bit more space. That all's fine. Yep, just hide. There you go. Hopefully your teammates can keep up with that ultimate. It's so. It's so um, fast. I don't even know how your teammates weren't able to keep up with that. Honestly, I actually would have liked to... This kind of goes back to what I said. I think you want to do this next time. Out from here. See? Like, just, like, throw your ult here and then go out. That way it travels to your teammates quicker and also goes into them. This one was so far back, they, got, they couldn't benefit from it. What's cool about the... What's cool about the speed ring... I know that... I forgot what the ability exact name is. What's cool about the speed ring is that it also, like, you don't have to be next to your team to necessarily use it. I want to see you use pole a little bit more there if you're going to play Lifeweaver. Um, remember, Lifeweaver is a lot better now, by the way, chat. And one of the reasons why Lifeweaver is a lot better, I, I, I was going to pause there, but I didn't have time. But, like, you have this passive regen now on Lifeweaver, like this passive regen. So you just see how, like, right here is at 39. You used to have to like charge up your play and like get to this point. Now you don't have to charge it. You'll always have one in the 80 if you're not using it. And then you don't have a movement penalty. That's why a life weaver is so much better. So back to the question, who's a good pairing with Juno? I would say, I, I think Juno Lucio comps can work in like the right setting, but I, honestly, pair Juno with like a, like an Ana or something. And you might have, you could see a good time. I'm not even joking. Cause you can use Juno to like speed boost and then Juno can go a bit more aggressive and you can play further back and like it has a cool combo. Bap could be pretty good, yeah. You kind of see the vibe I'm going for, though. Like, you have somebody who has really good healing output to make it so Juno can, like, actually take their finger off the mouse for a second. Have you noticed that when you play Juno? Like, if you don't stop shooting to heal people, you just, like, you, like someone fall, you, like, you fall behind heals, and you're like, oh, come on! So. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Juno's ends high damage. That's a risk reward comp that could work really well. Yeah. Much better start for you here. You had the right idea with the speed ring. Like that, that's the right idea, just hit a wall. Good usage of the speed ring, just need better execution next time. Nice job. That Ryan lived? Yep. Well, it's easy for the Ryan to live there when no one on their team is taking angles and shooting the Ryan from behind. Like, you, you could have a Ryan just sit there with 200 HP, and if no one's really shooting from behind, they're going to be able to get healed up eventually. Idea's correct here. Nice job. Good speed drink. I, I will say, you're used to speed drinks. Like a big slam! Alert. Nice job. I don't think you've been really playing Juno that that terribly. I, I think like it's your your number one issue is just gonna be about, you know, correct ability usage, which you actually do a pretty good job of. Learning how to like really like finesse the 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 Juno out rather than just like get behind your team and throw it, like use it angles to like, you know. And then on top of that, um uh, one other thing I've been seeing, I, I'll when I remember it, I'll let you know. There's one other thing I wanted to mention about throughout for a second. Nice. Good 
job. You said their sense seems a little high? I mean, I try not to tell players to change their sensitivity too much because everybody, like, I play in very high sense. So I'm always in the mindset of do what works for you. Okay, what I would do, by the way, for this next part of the point is use your uh, Juno ult to go down main here and take back the point. If you can, if you can ideally get it to the choke, we'll be good, so. I mean, your team is just steamrolling right now. Holy crap. Okay, now, Juno ult, Juno ult, Juno ult. This is it, this is it, this is it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Perfect ult usage. Because now you're gonna be able to use that to get through one of the toughest chokes in the game. That's perfect. That is perfect. Now use your use your play. Yeah. Excellent. I mean that was great. Oh, honestly, I, I don't even have anything bad to say about that. You played that perfectly. Because like th this is one of the most difficult chokes in the game to get through is right here. So using that, being able to use your Juno ult to get through this choke is is great. Seriously, that was very well played. Correct speed ring. Correct. Good play. Helping your team know me get it. You have a, you have a good understanding of using speed ring. Essentially, with speedring, you want to use it. With speedring, you want to use it to help your team engage or disengage. And you can use it both ways on that, too. Like, right there, I, I don't mind that, right? Your team can engage now. Now you play an angle. Now you set up for, like, your right-click heals in two seconds. So, like, do that, and you can also damage them, right? Like this. Now you set up for a right-click. That's on your Pharah. They're playing too aggro. Is that the player that was complaining about, like, how they need a pocket? I think the reason why they wanted the pocket was not for damage boost is because they play so aggro that they're used to getting rolled and the only thing they want to blame is their supports. It's probably what's happening. Because I watch their positioning and they just play way too aggro. So like they, oh, big slam alert. Don't you love when they hit a huge shatter and the first reaction is for them to charge all of them out of, the, out of there? Good ult, by the way. Good ult. Win or lose, I like that ultimate. Hey, nice res. Uh oh. Yeah, just keep, keep just, just, just keep holding left click on Ryan. Don't even worry about it. I'm telling you right now, your tracer's gonna be okay. Yes, there you go. Wow, I cannot believe it. You're, you're losing this team fight. I mean, maybe it's still winnable. Yep. I would speed ring out if I was the Ryan. I would speed ring out if I was the Ryan. I would speed ring out. I'm not telling you to speed ring them. I know you already used it, but the Ryan should have used that to disengage, not go in, because you still have the opportunity to get out. I guess the good news is you got more ult out. I, I already see what's happening. The DPS player who requested a pocket, it's because they play so aggro and out of position that they feel like it's... that they're never getting healed, when in reality, they're just taking so much damage consistently. Like, they know they have... Like, see what I mean? Like, if you know what ult they have and they haven't used Soldier Ultimate, why are they flying up into the air? It, it's the same thing that's happening, right? Then it forces out a res, right? So... Speed ring. I would speed ring your team in. Yeah, 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 yeah. Correct, correct, correct. Now the Ryan backs out. Wonderful. Are you kidding me? Alt right away. I want you to alt right away. Big slam! Oh, that's gonna be huge. Nice. Not a bad hold. Not a bad hold. What rank? Silver? Yeah, the, the, the Juno and the Ryan are on completely different pages. It's like, this is a good time to go in. Back up! This is a good time to back up. Go in! Oh, great right click. I'm so glad I got that achievement today. We're probably gonna make a video of me grinding to get the, uh, the, the, the Juno achievement with eight. Torpedoes. All this morning you play with Varus and Corbin and Bastions. Well, I mean, they can play against that. I just gotta play further back. Like that, 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 I, I, I you say they're playing against Soldier and Torb as Farah? I don't even, I don't even think that's bad. They just need to learn to play further back. 
It's much faster shots now, too, so you just go more spam heavy rather than aggressive. That's it. Kill Torb turret and then start making your way in. Also, great play here. Your team's just dominated now. Big slam, your Ryan's up there, I'll tell you that much. Team just wins, though. Ended up being a good game. Here's what I'll say. Because you mentioned a little bit about your DPS. Your DPS pl does play aggro, very aggro. I will say, though, that when your other support did go Mercy, they also just played better. So, like, it was one of those situations where I, it, it is more of a an issue on their play style than it is on, like, your team needs to go this to, like, like, a lot of games, they could probably play without having a Mercy there. But, like, they, they, it was because of their play style, at least in my opinion. I think you played fairly well. Definitely work on your timings on a couple things. Work on, like, better ultimates, but that's going to take time. Overall, I actually wasn't unhappy with your gameplay. Remember not to take those duels, like when that Echo flanked you at the beginning, go into your team in that situation. You have so much mobility now as Juno that, like, you can use that to really get away, and maybe that leads to your teammates helping you, or you get a better spot, so. But overall, I think I, th I, feel, I think you played well, and it was, ni it was nice to watch a Juno game, because obviously Juno's now in rank, so. You got this. If you like this video, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe to all three YouTubes if you haven't, leave a comment. If you want to submit your own spectator, look in the description below, you'll see my Discord. Uh, we also record these live on streaming, see the Twitch app with the webcam. We also stream on YouTube, etc. So stop by, we have a lot of fun there. With that being said, I hope you have an amazing day slash night.